Hi and welcome to my update notes of my vehicle. It's a infantry mobility vehicle. I call it Rhino, and I made some major changes to the model and introduced some new skins. So in this video we will take a closer look. Now let's take a closer look at the skins. We have a four skins now. This is a like a snow version of it and actually those decals can be customized. I will demonstrate that shortly. And we have a like a desert version of the vehicle. And actually top hatch can be open and closed individually. So minor customization to the vehicle and back tires can be high as well I, yeah why not and this is woodland version of the vehicle and i forgot to mention but as can you see we also have a like a sirens here uh, in previous 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 uh, package the only uh, sirens was only tied to this vehicle but I get a many requests to make them available to all the all the skins, and yeah, it makes sense. I mean, there is a kind of military police, and this is the new skin. It's a like a black version of the vehicle. I know it may be used like a cover tops or uh, uh, support or even bank transport or something like that. And yeah, we have a turret that is actually fully functional and now the smoke discharges are fully working in previous versions uh, we didn't have a smoke I added that option and yeah we have the same vehicle but without any attachments so they can be just a regular vehicle maybe and let's uh, let's let's delete all of them and take just one Let's leave this one in. Now. Before we get uh, driving this vehicle and let's explore some skins. And skins can be changed just by hitting these selections here. There, are, there is options with skins and you select and dis deselect snow skin desert woodland and let's leave it on black ops i call it now i get many requests about uh, using uh, numbers or decals or letters on my vehicles and mm, i know some of you guys want to me to make a custom skins but uh, it's a pretty easy to implement your own skins or, or your own logos on the vehicles just use the decals i use that on my projects if i make a skin with uh i don't know with numbers or letters here everyone who who have access to this vehicle we have the same skin but if you use decals actually you can make your own logos and your own i don't know uh, for example, you want uh, uh, a flag here. Flag. This is a Russian vehicle. You can put a Russian Russian flag here. Just use a decal. But this vehicle exports to many countries. So, for example, you want a different country. I don't know. Even Germany, for example. But if I put a Russian flag here, that that's, that that is a uh, I don't know forever there. And I use the skins. I will demonstrate that. Actually, if we take a take a blueprint and find decal, yeah, we have a decal, right? Dec there, yes. 
currently it's uh, hidden but yeah this is the decal just add your decals to the blueprints position them somewhere and that is it the reason why is my decal hiding is because I I made it so it can be hide and hide from directly from the blueprint and we have a this is a select of Chirilica Russian alphabet uh, police but we can change that for example we don't want to any decals just decal visible we can hide it we can change it to police or army because I use a texture with a red green and blue channel separated and so uh, you can use that very efficiently to save memory and uh, have the same results and have some options for example let's leave it on I don't know police yeah currently it's a uh, white but the vehicle is a black just click here and change it to the black and yeah here we go police for example we don't want police we want army just change to the army we want a different color red maybe just change it to the red but I like black so leave it on the black so yeah guys on every my on every vehicle or even every project Unreal use the decals they are very very powerful and now oh, let's take a look some customization uh, uh, finally uh, we can add uh, sirens anywhere so for example we can hide the turret and now we don't have access to the turret we can add a siren just by clicking there and they are fully functional sirens I will demonstrate later uh, we can toggle lights headlights on and off directly from the blueprint we can even engage the siren with the electric from the blueprint We have a bunch of options here. We can open the top hatch. Those are just minor customization that I like to include with my models, and they don't cost me pretty much anything to implement them. Uh, we can hide, hide back tire, but this is only shown when we are playing actually the game because I can't hide and hide. Uh, skin meshes. I don't know why, but it just doesn't work from construction script. I need you to use the uh, yeah, to bypass it basically, but it works. And now let's hide sirens for and add that turret. And this little is a used machine gun. Basically, it, 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 it tells the blueprint do you want to use the machine gun? Uh, in every camera position, for example, if you ha if you are inside the cockpit, or if you are an third person, or you just want to use the machine gun when you are on monitor. Here position, I will demonstrate it. Or uh, when you are on a third camera position. Now let's take a uh, closer look at the physics of the vehicle. I made big changes to them. I get uh, lots of email suggestions and from you guys but you want you want a uh, I don't know more powerful vehicle and be like a I don't know behave just like a GTA drive everywhere and I loosen up some uh, torque power and uh, take advantage of the new vehicle blueprint in Unreal and yeah it behaves pretty well and I added some new particle effects and added some particle effects and uh, textures when the gun is overheated and let's hop inside and take it for a spin 
so and just to say I fix it the steering wheel I didn't notice it until I was playing again that uh, I mm, the bone of the steering wheel was a um, uh, angled uh, ang uh, was angled uh, it was pretty much steering but in a weird way now it's a yeah it's behaving pretty much uh, as was intended to to do and yeah we have a uh, internal lights to zoom in we have a uh, working indicators and yeah this is a uh, what was I seeing like machine gun I can use the machine gun pretty much any camera but when I switch that off I can use it only when when, when I I mean uh, monitor camera or this position turret camera and let's take it for a spin let's take it to the shooting range I did a new capture so the barrel now will actually overheat and if we fire a long time it will it will overheat totally and need to cool down and I did a new particle effect just to to, to be more I know prettier and of course we have a working camera inside the real time feed function fun function we have a smoke screen and actually if, if you uh, look at the uh, bottom right corner of the HUD we have a indication how long it takes to smoke screen to replenish we can fire it again and we have a uh, 50 seconds until the new smoke screen is ready now let's just drive it as in the past we have uh, active inspections on this vehicle I just read that uh, Bedfield 5 will have uh, active suspensions good for us and them I don't know what we have we have a uh, Bedfield 3 and 4 when we didn't have that but finally in the Bedfield 5 we have uh, active suspensions it's uh, just more realistic that way let's take it off road so finally I can use these particles in the past I don't know what with radium cars and Unreal 4 particle effects I get a horrible performance when using this any particles I don't know why but finally I think that radium fixed that uh, I have a pretty decent card it's old old one it's a R290 X 4 gigabytes it's a pretty decent car but in the past I could not use particle effects I include them but I could not use them and yeah now well, let's take it up the hill I changed some friction properties to the tire so now there is no skidding or slipping but still we can crash and actually just like before we have our working gauges RPM speed, fuel gauge, battery they are all working I don't know that is uh, just uh, some little touches that I like to include with my vehicles and we hit something crazy under the physics 
let's take it to the tunnel I include this map with my all vehicles you can find it in the map section I get a uh, email asking for this map uh, but actually it's already included yeah we have our uh, indicators and let's drive Let's take a closer look at the suspensions again. It's a pretty heavy vehicle, but I tweaked the engine so it has a more, more torque, more power. Let's take a look at the sirens. Uh, just hide the turret and and hide the sirens. And now it's a there is no more weapons on this vehicle, but still it's a it's a cool vehicle to drive. And actually, the sirens are fully working. Suspensions uh, turreted can be detached, attached, some customization to the vehicle, and thank you for your support and everyone who sent me emails asking for uh, asking for more functions or giving me feedback. Uh, especially, I need a feedback f from you guys. I drive this vehicle a lot of, but sometimes uh, the bugs just slips and. Whenever I found bug, I write it down, and on the next update I correct that. And if I learn something new in the vehicle, uh, in the Unreal, and that can be implemented to my vehicle and make them more functional or more optimized, I write that down, and in the next update I correct that. So I intend to support my vehicle for a uh, for a long time and again if you find some bugs or some suggestions if you have uh, some su suggestions to, uh, to me just send it to my support email i read them all and yeah see you in the next video thank you thank you very much